Hey guys, how's it going? It's again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you could subscribe to the channel by just clicking on the button below because that's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm going to continue the AR videos. We're going to be working on actually doing selection of objects in augmented reality. I show you how to do dragging and dragging one object around. So I want to do multiple objects this time and also have an indicator of which object is selected. So Let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. All right, guys, so I have a demo that I run on my device of how the selection and the selection work. So this is how it currently works. You can select different spheres and they change to red when they're selected and then basically to gray when they're not selected. So let's jump into Unity and I start working on making this happen. How I have it configured so you can basically clone it, download it and see how it works. So basically, if I hit play right now, anything that is red is gonna, it's gonna be the items that is currently selected. And anything that is gray, it's gonna be the items that are not selected. So right now, these four spheres that are on the outer bound are the ones that are not selected. And then the middle one is the one that is selected. So when we go into augmented reality, just like I showed you in the initial video, we'll be able to basically touch each one of the spheres and basically the color of those are gonna turn into red as they are selected. So a couple of things to notice, these are all prefabs and I have them in the prefabs directory. I also have a new component added to these ones. And it's basically a very simple game object that I added, it's called a placement object. And for now, I only have a Boolean to determine if something is selected or not. The, the other things that I added, if we go into the AR session origin, I added a new script and this script is basically a variation of some of the other placements that we had except this one is only going to be for selection so this one is going to be responsible for toggling the color so you can see that I have an active color and I also have an inactive color so you're more than welcome to change this color so if I wanted to change that to something else you could see that let's say that I change it to yellow and I hit play this is going to change the default value of the sphere to be yellow and then anything that is unselected is going to use the color that is on the basically on the inactive color so I'm going to undo that because I did like the color that we had which was red all right and then the other things that I have in here is also I'm aware of what the placement objects are so this is going to be this is an array of placement objects which all of these ones have one of those components and you can see that by the parentheses and the object class, the class name that defines that each one of these prefabs have a placement object script associated with it. The other thing is basically a dismiss button and then the AR camera because I need to do ray casting against these objects. So I needed a reference of the AR camera and then also the welcome panel so that when I click on the dismiss button that you see on the welcome screen, it basically disappears. Okay, so that's basically everything that I did as far as like the hierarchy. Let me show you how the code works and I can explain it to you. So I'm going to go in and open up the placement with many selection controller. So this one still has the Raycast manager just like the other ones. We also have a reference to the welcome panel. We also have an array of placement objects and if I go and look at the definition of this, you can see that that's basically a placement object with a boolean if selected inside and it's a property. So it's very simple, just an array of those and I am basically defining those through the inspector just like I am defining the welcome panel. Also, I am allowing the person who is defining the experience to set the color of the active color and also the inactive color. So by default, they're gonna be gray and red. I also need a reference to the dismiss button so when we press it, we can dismiss the panel also the error camera, like I said in the beginning, so that we can do ray casting. I also needed to track the touch position because we're gonna use the touch position to know if a ray casting, if a ray cast is hitting one of the objects in the scene. And the ray cast manager, it's something that I that we are using, I think on the previous scenes, and thinking about that now, we're using this for vertical detection. I'm not gonna, I'm actually not using it in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove it since we're not using it. And I think, yeah, in fact, we probably don't even need the Raycast Manager. We're just gonna leave it. Let's go ahead and remove it because we don't need it. Let me just clean it up. So when you download the code, you don't get anything that you don't need. 
So it's gonna go back into the AR session origin. And then since we're not using this AR Raycast manager, I'm just gonna remove it. Just to keep things simple and then you know exactly what I'm using. All right, so the, and then the heads, we're also not using it because that's for vertical detection and horizontal detection of planes. All right, so that actually made it a lot simpler. And it looks like we're not using some of these using statements. I'm just gonna remove it. All right, so on the awake method, I'm basically connecting the, this miss method to the handler of the onclick event. And then when somebody presses the dismiss button, we're basically deactivating the welcome panel. We're also making sure that we don't capture any touches unless the welcome panel is not visible. The other thing that, that I'm doing in here is I'm also getting, I'm making sure that if somebody touches the screen, there's a, there's a touch count greater than zero. If there is, I get a reference to that touch. I also get the touch position. And then I go through the phases. So the only phase that we do, we do here is the begin phase because I only need to know when the user starts touching the screen. When they start touching the screen, that's when I'm gonna evaluate if we're doing, a, if we have a collision through a ray cast. So we're basically creating a ray and then we're passing in the touch position. We also get a reference to a ray cast hit. If we do get a hit, if we're basically touching one of those objects, which means that one of those objects is gonna have a placement object. If it has a placement object associated with it, I'm basically gonna get that component if this is null, I know that the object that I have in the scene is not a placement object. It might be a tree, it might be a table or something that I have set up in 3D, but I didn't want to, I didn't want the script to basically evaluate. So that's what I did it as a placement object. If we want to go in more in detail, we can add layers and then making sure that, you know, our layer mask matches the, the mask of the item that we want to raycast against. And then, you know, we can have additional logic for now, I'm just gonna keep it simple. If we have a placement object, that means that it's one of the objects that I want to change and toggle the color, going from active to the active and from inactive to active. And that's what I have this method here. If the placement object is not null, I'm gonna change the selected object. I pass in the object that they're selecting, and then I basically go through a loop. I get the mesh render because I'm gonna need it to change the color. And all I'm doing is if the selected placement object that the person is actually selecting does not equal the current one, I basically set it to false. So this means anything else that I didn't select, I'm gonna set to inactive. So it selected is gonna become false and then the color is gonna be inactive, which is gonna be gray in this case. And then if they are, if it's the one that we're selecting, we're basically gonna change current equal to selected. And then we're gonna change the color to be red in this case. So. That's basically all I had to do to make the selection work. Obviously there's a lot more things that we could do here, but for now I'm gonna keep it simple so that you understand how to do item selection in augmented reality. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know. All right guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Also be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. And also find me on patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes upcoming videos that I haven't really announced yet, and then also early access to source code. Thank you very much, guys.